Happy Father's Day, everybody, and welcome to Pet Talks Dad's Day Celebration. We're celebrating animal dads everywhere, like this adorable guy, considered one of the super dads of the animal world. He's a male marmoset. Born in South America, daddy marmosets not only carry, feed, and groom their babies, they may even end up as midwives during birth. In fact, once the babies are born, mom only comes around for nursing. Otherwise, dad has full custody until they are old enough to eat solid food. Can you say daddy's girls? <laughs> so cute and just as cute. The oh so adorable Dexter celebrating Father's Day in this photo with his dad, Chip. So sweet. And here he is back on Pet Talk with his mom, Carol Bryant, who is a pet writer, blogger, and pet product expert with a blog pause. We are so thrilled to have both of them back on the show. And uh, Dexter, too, of course, who is sporting a beautiful tie. So a uh, happy Father's Day. And uh, congratulations, because I understand uh, you have an exciting new job. I do. I'm working with Blog Pause, and they're a social media company. We've been around since 2009, hosting yearly conferences. And we bring together pet people from all around the world, actually, to unite with brands, one another. And if you love your dog and you're on Facebook or Twitter... We're the company for you. And here, this is the place to uh, go. So we're happy that you're on Pet Dog because you have brought us some wonderful ideas for Father's Day gifts. Let me start with this. What have we got here, Carol? Well, many of the guys out there and the scales from the 80s might remember Brett Michaels, who oh, yeah. was this singer from Poison, and he won the Celebrity Apprentice. He's got his own line of Pets Rock mm. toys and goodies now. And as you can see, this really cool, it's a bandana, sort of like Brett wears. And it's the kind of thing you could see dads playing with their dogs with that toy. And he's got clothing for dogs, too. And this, this is really cute, I thought, for Father's Day because you're not going to mind putting this on your dog because it's got that hard rock appeal to it, like Brett Michaels theme. Sort of retro and tattoo feel. So it's uh, the kind of thing I think would be fun for Father's Day. And the fringe, too. And this is uh, sort of the pirate look here. It is. It's the skull and crossbones. <laughs> but I love that he put the guitars in instead of the crossbones. So, yeah, Brett Michaels, he's now gotten his uh, guitar into Pets Rock. And the guys could get involved, too. What have you got there, Carol? Well, Jill Rappaport, who's a pet reporter for the Today Show, she now has her own line of rescued knee leashes and collars. And what's nice about these are a big percentage of proceeds go to charity. You could put these in the washing machine on Cold Gentle. They come out laundered the same. There's a really nice, a few sayings on them on both sides. And I love the sayings, rescued me. So if you have a rescue dog, I'm a pound hound. So if you want to tout your spirit about having rescued a pet, this is a nice uh, line from Jill Rappaport's Rescued Me that I think it gives back and it also looks good on your dog. This is really cool. Now, um, okay, what is uh, that vest over there? That's interesting, Carol. Well, this is something that every dad might want to put on their doggy for Father's Day and beyond. And when you're out walking your dog from duty pack, you could actually slip the dog's waist in there after you've picked it up. And while you, after you've done that, you could also carry a canine first aid kit from duty pack. And who doesn't need a, a first aid kit for their dog? So it's stocked with everything. If you're on a walk, you're out in the woods or anything, you know if an emergency comes up, you can get your dog's name embroidered on it, your company, and that's my blog. Um, and, and it's the kind of thing that it just looks good. Any size dog can wear it up to 180 pounds. Now, these are adorable. What, what are these, Carol? This is from PetSmart, and it's their new line with Toys R Us, who we've all grown up with. And these are multi-sensory toys for dogs. So you can picture doggy dads playing with their dog with these. And you've got rope on there. You've got some squeakers. You have um, a tire. And what's nice about those is the blue one has a crinkly water bottle in it. So after the crinkle's gone, you just replace it with a plastic water bottle, and your dog has a brand new toy. So you can find those in PetSmart on their new toy attic aisle, and those are something that you can engage your dog in, and they look really cute, too. Now something for the kitty dad. Exactly. Um, we can't forget the cat dads out there. And this is from the Martha Stewart line at PetSmart. It's a double feeding bowl, and I, what I liked about this is you can put a lid on it so that if you're traveling and you want to store your cat's food or your cat didn't eat everything and you want to remove this, have your cat's food in it and then put it back in the refrigerator. It's really a nice idea for that sort of thing. Um, and also from Unconditional, it's a new cat litter that hit the market. It's chemical free. Mm. And this is pine chips. And it won't do anything to the cat's paws. Uh, it's very absorbent, and it's a very revolutionary product from Unconditional for all those cat dads out there who 
maybe they're tired of cleaning up or they don't want to do the litter box and they want a nice fresh scent, uh, that's a cute different Father's Day gift. This is a new product I fell in love with from Zero Odor. It's not a cover-up, it's not an enzyme, but whenever you have an odor, you could even put this on kitty litter and get rid of the scent. It's biodegradable, non-toxic. Your pet could step on this. If you have a stain, if you have something you want to remove a scent, it actually at attacks the molecules that cause the odor and then sort of desensitizes them and turns them into a really pleasant smell, and it's gone. Now that's really helpful, Carol. And now, last but not least, we have sort of a Dexter look-alike on the set. We do for anybody who wants to travel with their pet and they, they can't take them with them or they can't get them in somewhere. I totally love these flat pets. I think this went off the flat Stanley craze from years ago. I take this where Dexter's not allowed in, so we'll be hitting the, the trail cross country, the real thing and the... The flat pet version. That's so cute. We want folks to know about that and also how they can follow you. Absolutely. You can go to blogpause.com and you can follow me on Facebook at blogpause, Twitter at blogpause. Anybody that has questions about any of these products can get in touch with Carol. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you. And as we go to break, did you know that catfish are incredibly overprotective dads? They actually protect their females' fertilized eggs by holding them in their mouths until they hatch and they don't let the babies go free until they're about two weeks old. Stay tuned. Our Father's Day special returns right after this.